Hey guys, Jonah here, back with another beer review. And sorry, I haven't done an upload um, yesterday. I was actually going to do a homebrew Wednesday because at the weekend I actually brewed a batch of beer. Um, it was the Honey Porter, but I kind of missed the opportunity. And um, yeah, it was a weird one. We had to go out. Things happen, you know, just in life um, sometimes. Um, but yeah, I didn't actually have any beer yesterday. Can you believe it? Wow, I must be doing something good to my body. But anyway, we're back with a beer review. <laughs> it's going to be this one. I decided to go back for a bit of a, a vocation check-in. And this one I thought was a new one because I haven't seen this before. Uh, it's called Smash and Grab, even though it's not really folk. Oh, it is, is now. Um, and it's their new design can. I think that's what threw me. I don't think I've had this one before, but I think I've seen it before in the old version of the can. And this is a double IPA. Um, and oh my God, my camera is really not liking, uh, yeah, the color of this can. Where's the alcohol? There we go. It's 8% alcohol, come on. And if we go, We'll go around that way. The ingredients we've definitely got some wheat and some oats in there, so it's 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 that stuff that I like. So I've got high hopes for this one. Smash and grab. We've never been ones to play it safe, and this is no exception. It's an East Coast style, so it's kind of a Nipah style, but it's a double as well. Uh, it hits hard with heavy blasts of tropical fruit flavors, punchy aromas that are bound to make an impact. Um, it's hoppy, bold, fruity. We have got Citra, Sabro and Galaxy in there. And it says, get ready for an unstoppable force um, with a multi finish. Yeah, shum on. And as usual, your beer is our vocation. Don't uh, drink with pregnant girls, otherwise uh, you'll be banned from driving. I think that's what those uh, things mean. And it's a 440 can. Oh, I've not seen that before. Designed by Robot Food. Is that the is that their new logos and all that kind of stuff? Not exactly sure. But anyway, we're going to dive in. And as usual, or as I try to do, I've got my vocation glass, and I've even got my vocation bar mat. This one's the life and death one. Um, Although I have got some other ones to play with now. I put them in pride of place. Um, yeah, as you might have seen downstairs with my uh, good buddy, Jim. Cheers, my friend, um, who's no longer with us, as you probably know. And I don't know about you, or whether it's just me, but in the UK, Jesus Christ, it's it's got really cold over the last week or so. And it could be because I'm on I'm on too much different kind of medication. As a long-term viewers know, I've got various different things wrong with me. And not being funny, but it could drive a man to drink. But what it also does, these, these blooming things, they make my fingers go a bit numb and my hands and feet get really cold, which is crazy crazy. So we have definitely got a hazy beer. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Uh, not so much head though. Uh, lovely white bubbles but they are very much fast disappearing. Let's turn the, the glass around. We've got a V on there which is really cool. Let's do a, an aroma test. Uh, test. Oh it's been in the fridge so Maybe a touch too cold. Ooh, interesting. So I am getting some kind of sweet um, tropical fruits, but I'm also getting some green hoppage as well. What did they say that my memory is absolutely awful? Ah, Citra, Sabro and Galaxy. Now, ah, Sabro, is that the one? That has that weird coconut thing in it. I'm not sure. I don't want to preempt anything, but uh, 
it might it might be oh i need to do a photo don't i let me rub this on my my tummy and yeah let's turn it something like that make sure we get the glass in and then it's time for the obligatory silly face that i always tend to do and if you like my silly faces and if you like my beer reviews of which i'm about to do why not click like and subscribe down below join the uncle john at army um we'll, we'll drink some beer shut up right let's get into it Oh, wow. I was trying to split the vocation. I think I might have done it. Wow. Yeah, a lot of fruit, but up front. Hmm, it is quite smooth. Maybe a tiny bit of nothing. I'm not sure. But up front is definitely greenery, which I'm near dam gonna say it's the citra but then uh sabro and galaxy kind of kick in and there's a sort of challenge here there is a lot of different fruit but there's i'm also tasting that sort of high fruit that white stuff so sort of the grapey the melon um you know how i like my melon <laughs> and he's 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 going like this Fucking hell, what's going on? Ridiculous. Let's dive in and we'll see if I can be a little bit more professional. But yeah, there's high high notes and low notes and definitely some greenery in there. Cheers and beers. Yeah, so it's quite hoppy, getting that kind of greenness, that funk, that hedgerow, as I usually call it. But then it goes into kind of fruitiness. Weirdly, the, um, yeah, the oats and the wheat are kind of sort of making things nice and smooth and kind of detracting a bit. Then we're getting fruit, definitely. And it's not very bitter. It's not obscenely bitter. It's not obscenely sweet either. And I've just seen that on here, I have managed to frame the vocation. So we got a tide line there, a tide line there. I was sneakily trying to do that all the time, but um, yeah. I wonder if there's any extra, I don't think there's any lacto. Do you remember I, I had that beer earlier on in the week? And it had some lacto in there and it kind of messed everything up. Um, this doesn't, which is cool. So Shamal to the uh, vocation through the nation. And the alcohol, 8%, this is hidden, well, Number one, it's a 440 can and it's 8% alcohol. Mm -mm -mm. I only need to have one 8% beer, especially on a school night. And uh, yeah, that's me sorted. However, it's hidden very, very well. I am feeling it a little bit kind of in my breath at the back of my throat. But if someone said, yeah, this is just a 6% IPA, I believe them. <laughs> if someone said it's an 8%, I'm like, oh, really? Ah. If someone said 10%, I'd go, you're a liar, damn you. <laughs> Let's dig in a bit more. Ooh. I can't believe I've not had this beer before. Maybe it just wasn't available. Um, vocation, obviously, up in Hebden Bridge, um, up north from where I am. Um, but 
I do like vocation. Um, they've been around for ages, and apparently this beer has been around for quite a long time because the new um, packaging only came in sort of maybe three years ago, something like that. Maybe a tiny bit longer, um, but something like that. And I, I actually still prefer, shouldn't really say it because I like vocation, but I still prefer the old, the old style kind of um, artwork, especially um, with things like Life and Death, because they were absolutely classic. Um, yeah. Love and Hate as well was one that I quite liked. And they all have distinctive colours too. As, as we've seen with this one, it's a purple colour. And obviously Life and Death, their uh, their main one is green in colour, green and black. This is very nice, I have to say. I have been drinking a lot of hazy beers lately. And I know this is called a double IPA. Um, but I think this would comfortably sit in the hazy IPA category as well. Um, it's got all the hallmarks. It's got the oats. It's got the wheat. Um, very, very see-through. Not too much head on there. It's the new world kind of style hops. Although they're calling this an East Coast um, beer, I guess they're kind of copying the Alchemist Heady Topper. Um, but that was always more green. I mean, I've only had it once, but it was a more green kind of verdant taste. Uh, whereas this is definitely in the modern style, uh, tropical stuff. Um, but I think that's the way most hazies have gone these days. Um, and double IPAs as well. You know, you can go either way. IPA is just a lot of people think just IPA is craft beer. That's kind of what it means. Yeah, I know you've got some dark beers as well, but it's like lager used to be like 20, 30, 40 years ago. Um, I can just about remember um, everyone had lager. So when you said, oh, I'll have beer, I'll go in a pub and I'll have a beer. It meant you'll have a lager. Whereas these days, Especially if you say craft beer, if you go in anywhere and say, have you got any craft beer? I guarantee the answer will be, ah, oh, we've got three different IPAs on tap. And it's like, oh, really? But one of them might be like this, a hazy one. And another one might be a really hoppy West Coast style beer. And then you might have, dare I say, the session IPA of doom. Um, and weird other ones like brown IPA, black IPA, white IPA. It's like, really? I'm rambling. I know I am. You knew I was going to anyway. Let's finish this beer off and we'll send you on your way um, for the evening. Um, yeah, cheers. There we go. So kind of dotted now my lines. So we've got the initial head of head of the top of the beer. First drink, second, third, fourth. Four sips in that one. Very, very nice beer. Is it beer of the year? We're getting near the end of the year. We're getting into December. And don't forget, we've got the advent. Uh, calendar beers coming up. So the whole month of December, I'm going to be drinking a beer every single day, doing a review for you, dear viewer. Um, and the one I've gone for this year is the Beer 52 again. I did the same thing last year. So please join me. If you haven't done so, your subscription or your, um, yeah, your subscription to my channel will be worth it just for watching me during December because I'm trying to do a re one review every single day during December. It's going to be a bit ridiculous, but hey. The other thing I guess that's coming up is um, 
I've got a new job, um, which is kind of cool. Wow, well, well carbonated beer. Um, yeah, which I start actually on Monday. So uh, it involves driving as well. I have been working from home, um, especially when I've been going through this cancer kind of treatment stuff, which is still ongoing. Um, and obviously medications and all sorts of things and treatments and medieval torture. Um, it, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, starting a new job. Um, so it might mean that I'm doing my uploads a bit later than I would usually, because um, sometimes I upload in the middle of the day purely because I'm at home sitting there. It's lunchtime. Hey, when in Rome. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's going to be interesting to see. Oh, the other good thing that was that was it. Drinking eight percent beer and then trying to remember stuff. No good. Yeah, where I'm working <laughs> is opposite a brewery. <laughs> it's not in a brewery. Don't worry. Although I would love to work in a brewery. Well, it would be dangerous for me to uh, to to work in a brewery because I'd probably drink after hours and stuff. I'll probably get there early purely to have a couple before I started brewing. But anyway, um, yeah, I will definitely tell you about that later down the line once I've started. Once I've done a recce um, of the brewery and it's got a tap room on the side. So I think, you know, it would be rude not to sample the beers at my local brewery. <laughs> well, local to where I'm working. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to do too many reviews from there because I've, I've had a look through the window and their tap room is quite busy most days, shall we say. So, you know, if it's really quiet and no one's there, I might do a cheeky review, um, on a phone or something like that. However, um, I believe they've got six cask taps. And I think eight uh, draft taps. And I think they've got four cider lines as well. So we're talking at least sort of 12, 12 drinks. And then they've probably got bottles and all sorts. And they do, they, they do pizzas. I don't know. A lot of tap rooms seem to have affinity with pizza. So... I can see myself finishing an honest day's work and then having a couple of beers, halves of course, sampling the different beers. If I have any more than two, it would be rude not to have a pizza um, to soak up some of that alcohol before I drive home. And it's a good 20 miles. So, um, you know, it's a good drive home across the country lanes. <laughs> And all that kind of stuff. But anyway, it's going to be an adventure. Um, that's what I'm saying. And it does involve beer. Um, this video is going on a bit, so I'm sorry about that. But I didn't do a homebrew Wednesday yesterday. So, you know, if you're still here and watching, shum on to you. Um, yeah, so this place, uh, it's Dover. And you probably heard of Dover because... Um, because of the uh, well, if you're in England, you've heard of Dover because that's where you get to Europe from, unless you take the Euro Tunnel and then it's from uh, Folkestone. Um, but yeah, my new job is in Dover, uh, in Kent, that is. Um, yeah, and there is at least one. Uh, what would you call it? A craft beer kind of place or. Ah, oh, I can't remember the proper term for it, but um, it's like a craft brew tap. So there's the brewery, which is cool, um, but also there's another place and it's a good like 10, 15 minute walk from uh, from where I work. A walk in there is downhill, but coming back up to the, the car or if I take the, the train or the bus, obviously it's halfway up the hill then. Um, and there's a Weatherspoons as well. So. It's, it's cool and they're all within, you know, a short work, uh, walk of where I'm going to work. Walk, work, 8% beer. 
it's beginning to affect me i can feel it um so yeah new adventures abound so it's going to be quite cool um so yeah winter beer festival i'll be down the weather spoons after work and uh, other time i've got the choice of um micro pub that's the probably the term the best term to use um and i think they've got six uh taps or a tap room from a brewery and they've got sort of 12 taps so it's going to take me at least a couple of weeks before i've drunk all the beers right <laughs> Anyway, I've rambled long enough. Sorry, I'm talking about myself and I shouldn't really do because I should really be talking about the beers on offer. And in this case, we have just had Smash and Grab double IPA from Vocation for the Nation. Shamal. This has been Uncle Jonah drinking beers. So you don't have to. Sorry, this one's been a bit of a ramble and a bit of a long one, but Join me tomorrow and I'll drink some more beer with you. Take, uh, take care, guys. We'll see you real soon.